Cut over it. Ended up just smoking, smoking weed and this and that, and I lost interest. And then um, when I turned 15, I got hit by a car. I was riding a pushback. Wow. It had no brakes. <laughs> With a pushback then? Yeah. <laughs> no one told me though. Oh so no. I'm on the pushback on this BMX <laughs> and I'm driving on a hill and it started raining. And I was so high. I remember smoking bare weed with the man them in the field. I don't know what he was doing, but I was young, I was like 15. Mm. I'm thinking, yo, I need to go to McDonald's. So I hopped on the thing, driving my deed. And one car come around the corner fast. Apparently the witnesses said, because I got paid out, I got it, I got um I've made a claim on it and that. All right, yeah. Paid out, but the witnesses said the car must have come round at like fifty. It was obviously a thirty, isn't it? It's a thirty yeah. road. So he, where he come round, he's already he, it's he's his really fault. Wrong. Yeah. Um, so he come round fifty, but not gonna lie, it was my fault. The car in front of me <laughs> stopped, in it? And um I swerved into the other side of the road. Oh, right, that car right. stopped and I had no brakes. I realized I got no brakes. Yeah. I'm like, shit, I'm about to go up the arse of this car. So I've yeah. swerved that way, but the cars come flying around the corner and we've gone head on to each other. Oh, serious? Yeah, the witnesses said that I done a front flip or something in the air. I had some converse on at the time. One of my converses was in the road on the other side of the road. Yeah. I got up, but it happened right outside Asda's. And where I was so high and I was hungry, I got up, walked into Asda's with one shoe on, <laughs> bought a meal deal, come out, and then the police was like, yo, get on the floor, get on the floor. And I'm like, what the fuck, what the fuck? They're like, yo, get on the floor. Then they pulled my trouser leg up and my bone was hanging out of my ankle. No. And I passed out on the floor there and then I was like, <sighs> boom. I woke up in hospital and they must have surgered me up because I was all casted up and I was like, what the fuck just happened? Damn. They said, like, you got hit by a car. I said, what? They said, like, yeah, you got hit by a car. I was like, nah, that's not right, man. I was, I was just riding a bike 20 minutes ago. And they were like, nah, you got hit by a car, mate. I was like, oh, fucking hell. You see, it feel nothing. I didn't know shit. It must have been a shock. Yeah, yeah, I think I was so adrenaline and that. And when I was so high, I just walked in as just got the sandwich. That's the last <laughs> thing I remember. And then I woke up in hospital with a cast on my leg. And then two weeks later, I cut the cast off and ran away to South End and that. And, um... <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, it was a mad thing still. Mum was in South End doing the craziness of, with a broken leg and that like, hopping around with crutches. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked. It's fucked still. It's crazy. What, what did you go to South End for? Or was that what we, we don't run away car. My mum was with some dickhead brother at the time. Okay, right, right. I didn't like it. And then obviously I was just stressing and that. So I thought, fuck this. And my brother was on the run from the police in South End, didn't it? Oh, right, so I right. Thought, where can I right. go where no one's going to find, man? Well, no one knows he's there, so I'm going there, innit? You know what I'm <laughs> so I went there. I was like, yo, I'm coming to you. He's like, yeah, yeah, come. So I ended up bunking like five free trains to get there. I don't remember how I got there. I had to go through madnesses to get fucking all the way down there. Yeah. Yeah, St. Pancras, all of that, getting on the train. Yeah, I went down there, but bear in mind, I just got, I just cut my cast off. So That's I'm crazy. walking with a shoe on, but crutches. And my legs thin and that way. I just had surgery. Yeah, it's all busted. So mine's all taking me time to get through the fucking train stations and that. And then I got down there. I must have been in South End for three days, and the police found me, bro. Uh, my mum, my mum, she g'd me up. Still, <laughs> the police come got me. I, I just remember the police knocking on the door. Must have been that. Yeah, I think it's 50, 15, 16 when I broke my leg. So yeah, it must have been about there. Police knocked on the door and I just. Tried to run and jump the back fence, but man just broke the leg in it. It's been all out of a cast for like, well, it should be in the cast, but I cut yeah. it off myself, innit? So it's got no cast on. And I'm just, I run and I hop the fence, but where I hop the fence, I just, I fucked my leg again. Right. And I made it like 10 steps down the road. And then the police come. And I was like, oh, yeah, I ain't running nowhere. Oh, you tried to run away as well? Yeah, I was like, I ain't running nowhere, innit? And then they just come. They was like, why are you running? You're on the missing list and that. And I was like, I don't like my fucking mom's boyfriend. I ain't going home. Da, da, da. And then it was just one of them. They took me station, sat man down, had a convo. My mom come pick me up. And then I was like, why the fuck you got her to pick me up? I don't want to go back there. Like, yeah, it's just What did grab you for truancy? Like, missing school? Yeah, missing and, person, yeah. innit? That's what oh, they yeah, grabbed me for. Yeah, yeah. Missing person, but because... I think they thought man was in danger in danger because I was always on like for bad shit. I got a drug and that on my record, so I think they must have thought man was doing bad shit as well, isn't it? So, yeah. And obviously, yeah, man was missing for longer than twenty four hours, so they they have to come and search for you, really, isn't it? 